is this thing on? Welcome to another episode of Paint It. <laughs> this is a weird angle and I'm eating my hair as per usual because it's full of protein. And this is how you slide into DMs. Anyway, in today's episode we're going to... You know you're really out of shape when you talk and you run out of breath. Is this a weird angle? Can you guys comment below and tell me if I have a... <laughs> what do you call those crotches? A mule? No, what is it? Camel toe! Can you guys comment below if this angle is weird or not? Because I feel like it might be. But I'm kind of into it. So whatever. Today's episode, we are going to paint this painting and it's called At Night I Come Alive. That makes a lot of sense, right? Because sperm technically becomes alive when the baby is born and the baby is usually conceived at night. I already did an outline of this drawing and it's, once it's finished it's going to be listed in my shop and I'll put a link down below on how to purchase it if you're interested. Let's get started. We need a crafty hippie looking jar to put our um, brushes in. You don't need your palette and for the palette the fuck? this will work. As long as the paint is dry it's not like it's a vagina. If it's dry it'll work. I like to paint on a flat surface because I feel that my paint won't drip and I have a better holding of the brush when I paint this way than when I paint this way. But for the sake of you and this YouTube channel which yes I renamed paint it Get it? Paint it. I think it's self-explanatory. I just felt like the brass was a little bit too risque. This lighting is so extra. This is super um, artsy. I love it. So for her background, we're going to keep it white because, because we are baby. This is basically what we hope it's going to look like. So really all you need is black and colors. Get your black color. Get it, grab it, squeeze it, flop it, voila. Once you get your black and find it where you put it on your dirty ass palette, get a good brush. Preferably new, preferably the one that someone got you for your birthday from your wish list. Thank you. It's gonna look like this. Not that it matters because. Do you see my wrinkles? Those were hot. Because when I used the primer to paint over my old painting that no one wanted, thank you, I'm going to still use a white color on top to make a white back. I don't know what the hole is. I know what you guys are trying to see. My wrinkles though. I hate wrinkles, but I think mine are cute. What was I saying? You know what? I don't like it. I feel like I'm showing too much skin out here. So get your get your brush. Get um get some new pants. And then you just want to <laughs> find your ass because it's non-existent. <laughs> this is how AG models do it. Make sure you got your compass card ready because you never know when you need to take that train going anywhere at midnight. Make sure you got some water in your in your situation going on here. Is that, was that a sentence? Make sure you... Fuck, where's the peephole? Make sure your um, paints are wet. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Because if they're dry, it's gonna leave like these. See this? See this shit right here? You don't want that. You want a solid color. Get on your knees, bitch. <laughs> Somebody get me a studio because I'm currently using my living room as a studio and a storage room and I hate it. Make sure to use your reference picture. Because if you don't, shit's not gonna look like what you want it to look like. When you're using a giant easel for a small canvas, don't put all your weight onto one side because it's just gonna flip you in the face. Maybe lower your canvas. 
And when you paint, make sure you paint from right to left because, wait, I don't think it matters. Just make sure you paint in one direction because if you're gonna be painting all over the place and you forget which paint is wet, you're gonna smudge it. Maybe you're not gonna do it, but I do it all the time, so I'm just letting you know if you're just as challenged as I am. Hey, you like those titties? This is very challenging. Whoa, my perception is fucked. Do you like those titties? You guys have no idea how many outtakes there are when I just talk to the camera and I say dumb shit that is so not funny. So you know I only record these things when no one's at home because if they would be, they would be experiencing secondhand embarrassment <laughs> hands down because I experience both as it's happening. Get those strokey strokes into her eyeball, creating nice eyelash line. Something happened to that finger, it looks like a weird foreskin. I don't know what foreskin looks like. It looks like my tooth! Oh my god, it looks like my baby tooth. These fingers do not look good. I like this close-up. Make sure to stay hydrated and keep your brushes hydrated too. Dip it in water. Back to black. Yo, this one time I pulled this tooth out. I didn't. It was back in Belarus. They didn't use the freezing. That was the worst pain. I've, in I've indulged. I've experienced a lot of horrible pains from kidney stones to getting my tooth pulled out without any freezing. I am swear on whoever you believe in that this shit happened. The doctors and the nurses had to hold each of my limb down because I was shaking so hard because it hurt so bad and there was blood everywhere. It wasn't spraying, but it was definitely drooling. And they pulled my tooth out and it never grew back. I'm actually missing a lot of teeth. I got like 26, I think. And you're supposed to have like what 30 or 30 something i don't know but definitely not what i have that's why i feel like i look like a retarded shark especially from this side and this tooth is um fun facts with sasha um this tooth is actually like t-rex tooth it's shaped as a t oh, you can see shit. i don't know if you can it's like literally a t there is a term for it i don't know what it is because i'm no dentist but it's when your teeth grow together. So like one grew, and then this one grew, and then they just grew together. It's so weird, I play with it all the time. Anyway, I hate it because it's so tiny and straight, and I look like a retarded shark. And I also grind my teeth at night, so I grind it like all of them, because I got bad anxiety. So if y'all got any like, you know, tips on how to not have anxiety, I'll be where they are. Give it a tiny cleavage and a big armpit. <laughs> Make sure to rub the excess paint on the excess parts around you. Almost done. You guys are almost there. Just a few more strokes. You got this. <laughs> I feel like I'm aiding in your masturbation or something. I don't know. Something weird is happening here. for the paint to dry but we don't care so we're just gonna get our cheap dollar store colors and you know they're cheap because they're dripping I'm just gonna paint these planets uh, different colors I'm gonna make them rainbow except for that one I think that one's like a moon rock get your reference so you know what the fuck you're talking about this lesson goes out for everything school painting arguments where's my reference is there like a ghost to go back here at night because my shit is gone. Should I rewind and see where I put it? <laughs> I know my 
mama told me that there's nothing that doesn't have an explanation. Everything has an explanation. What the fuck is my reference? Uh -huh. Everything has an explanation. See, if I gave up, I would have thought that there was a ghost of some sort. But because I didn't give up, this is another lesson. Never give up. It was just hiding behind a bunch of boxes of emptiness. Once you um, retrieve your reference from the poltergeist, find the paper towel. Better yet, find a towel. Make sure you don't give good, good music playing in your headphones while you paint because it'll just make it that much funner. I hope you can't hear my music because then I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> That's not even my hair. Make sure that you just don't have hangy headphones. <laughs> put them in your ear. When you put them in your ear, make sure it's not loud because you're gonna blow your eardrums, drum holes something that's shaped like a snail in there. Not high, I swear. This is just my character. It's just a mental compulsion that I have. Mm. Act challenged. When you wash your brush, just start painting. I put like four colors, I can only see two. You know what would be fun if I did this live? Because you all would be able to witness how awkward I really am. Cause like I said, there's a lot of things that I say that are just, <laughs> so, Get your blue ball, blue. You need to clean your brush between colors. Unless you want the colors to change, to transpire. Is that a word? Unless you want your colors to get a gradient. Wash your brush. <gasps> hey, that's a nice nail polish. It's starting to look like something. So far we got this far. That's a pretty legitimate statement. This isn't what it's gonna be on the website because on the website it's gonna be more correct and more vibrant and just better all together. If you wanna buy it, you can obviously buy it if you have the money, but if you don't, then you, you can't buy it. Why does everybody make fun of my belly button? Because it looks like a fucking tee? Fuck you, it's perfect. And my ride is actually almost here because I'm gonna go play some board games with my friends. Did you hear my background? I encourage you guys to follow your dreams. I encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel so I can follow my dreams. And stay hydrated, my friends. On the next episode of Paint It, we are going to paint something, as always. Maybe we'll actually finish it this time. Probably not, but there's only one way to find out. That's a nice pose. Anyway, I'm out. I need to get new pants and play some board games. You'll guys see me next whenever. Bye.